recognized. Many of you would even associate it with Lance Armstrong and the fight against cancer, which is exactly why it was created. <coughs> I first got it in middle school because it was like the cool thing, it, it was coming out, everyone had one, so I got one. But it didn't really has, have a significance to us because we were so young, but in high school it actually had a significance to me because my teammate was diagnosed with cancer and so we would wear the bracelet for every game just to support her through this. And it's really when I became interested in Lance Armstrong. And uh, Lance Armstrong was not only successful in his professional career, he was successful in fighting cancer. And today I'll tell you about his childhood, his struggle with cancer, and his professional achievements. Lance's upbringing molded him to be the determined man he is today. He was born on September 18, 1971 in Oak Cliff, Texas. And at the time, his mother was 17 and single, so it really, they had a bond because they took care of one another. And at age seven, he got his first bike, which would change his life. And um, Bill Gutman, an author who has composed many biographies, stated in his book, Lance Armstrong, a biography, published in 2003, that the bike represented independence, freedom to run without rules and without adults. And this was very important because he didn't get along with his stepfather, so it was his way of escaping home when things were going bad. And at age 10, his family moved to Plano, Texas. And Plano was a football-based town, so he tried to go play football, but he realized he was not good at sports with a ball or hand-eye coordination. So he took up swimming and running, and he was actually really good at it. And when he was 13, he started doing triathlon. And the Lance Armstrong biography on A&E, no author or date, states that triathlons um, are composed of a 1,000 meter swim, 15 mile bike ride, and three mile run, which is really impressive for a 13 year old. And his senior year in high school, the US Olympic development team um, asked him to come train in Colorado Springs with him. So he took that offer up. And um, in the 1992 US Olympic time trial, he came in second, and this is when he signed his cycling contract with Motorola. But little did he know, now that his career was picking up, he would be faced with something that would put his career aside. In 1996, October, Lance was diagnosed with testicular cancer. It was well advanced, he had tumors in his lymph nodes, abdomen, and lungs. And according to the Lance Armstrong biography on A&E, no author or date, <coughs> After removing the cancer, altering eating habits, and beginning aggressive chemotherapy, Armstrong was given a 65 to 85% chance of survival. Doctors then found tumors in his brain, dropping his chance to 40%. They had um, surgery on the tumors in his brain, and it was successful, and he was declared cancer-free in February of 1997. Um, and after battling cancer, he was actually gonna have to battle for his career back, because no one believed that he could get back in the racing after everything he went through. Including his contract with Motorola, they canceled it. But luckily, US Postal Service team signed him. And he won the 1999 um, Tour de France with a record-breaking speed of 25 miles per hour. And this was really a breaking point because he showed everyone he could get back in the game and do what he loved. And he went on to win that six more times, which no one has ever done. Lance Armstrong's website, unknown Dayton author, states that he has been awarded virtually every sports honor there is and has become a symbol of hope and inspiration. He continues to be a cancer, cancer activist through his um, foundation, which is the Lance Armstrong Foundation. And his website states that the foundation provides practical information and tools people need to battle cancer and live strong through education, advocacy, public health programs, and research grants. Today I told you about Lance Armstrong's childhood, his struggle with cancer, and his professional achievements. Even though he had to fight for his life, he did not let cancer get in the way of his passion for racing. And I'm going to close with the Lance Armstrong quote. Pain is temporary. It may last a minute or an hour or a year, but eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it lasts forever. Thank <laughs> you.